Hey guys and gals, welcome back to BNC RC for another unboxing, uh, another round of irresponsible spending. Seems like I've gone crawler crazy this week, or the last couple weeks, so I uh, figured I'd give the team associated stake on the crawler game a try. I got to check this out in the hobby shop. I was in uh, Walt's Hobby Town up in Syracuse. I was at the Syracuse Nationals and I got it there a little earlier than I thought I would. I was still within their business hours, so I ran up the road to look at one of these, because I knew they had one on display in the store. Yeah, right, I went to buy the fucking thing. I don't go to look at nothing to a, at a hobby shop. It's a 12th scale. It's a great looking rig. I saw the blue one. I have not seen the black one that's in this box yet. So it's kind of a surprise to me unboxing. The blue one, the truck looked fantastic. And I wanted the blue one, but I wanted to unbox something and get a little bit of a surprise out of it. Um, I really wish they would have just went all the way and did this in 10th scale because I think it would sell like hotcakes. I think they could sell them faster than they could make the son of a bitches. But it's 12th scale and it's a little cheaper. The price reflects it. It's 200 bucks ready to run. Get her out of here. Ford body. No Jeep. And no Chevy. The Chevy things are getting kind of beat to death too. Let's uh, see what we get in the box here. Now, me and my buddy Mikey at Waltz, we uh, did a little research and confirmed what I had assumed anyway, that this is just a rebrand and a rebody of the Thunder Tiger 12 scale crawler. The Kaiser or whatever they call that thing. Not very popular. I haven't seen much about them. And I don't own one, so they can't be real popular. Because I own every fucking thing, it seems like. Uh, let's see. I'm assuming just the radio. Okay, they give you the double A's. Double A's are in there. Some weird brand I never heard of. And there is our radio. Safe to assume it'll be an Ace brand radio. Maybe not, though. Nope, Team Associated stickers all over it. Uh, wheel don't feel bad. Trigger don't feel too bad. A little cheap, a little lightweight. They all feel cheap when there's no batteries in them. Four double A's, obviously. Throttle, steering, trim, and dual rates. Pretty cool. That's a, that's a well-featured, ready-to-run radio. A lot of times you only get the dual rate for the steering, you don't get it for the throttle. A lot of times you don't fucking need it for a trial. Oh, let's see here. We got some doodads in the bag with the book. Um, comes with assembly instructions. Hmm. Not bad. Looks pretty standard fare. I was looking it all over in the shop anyways. The chassis looks pretty standard for a crawler, just downsized a little bit. I'm hoping it's a little bit better quality than the luck that uh, my buddy Pete over in Mongolia had with his Bourrage. I don't want to have to upgrade the 10 scale axles and all that bullshit. Ooh, I like the black truck. That's pretty cool looking. Uh, I gotta cut the zip ties. Oh, I wasn't even done going through the shit yet. <laughs> the Reedy SC 400 brush speed control. It's got a 380 size motor in it. I saw that. Uh, there's that weird USB charger thing. I think is what that is. Hey, look at that. The beers are in a the bag. They're not on the truck for me to break inside the box. They must have heard me bitch about that axial thing the other day. Boy, they acted fast getting them off there for me. Um, uh, what else we got? Let me get that zip ties cut off there. I gotta hurry up. I don't know how much juice is in that camera battery. Well, it's worse comes to worse and it took a shit on me. I could use the Ford I just got out of this box. I'm just kidding. I always have camera batteries on stock. Um, good looking truck. Let's get my little uh, BNC uh, flex tester crates out here. Boy. For a little tall scale, I think it's going to be not too bad. Good looking rig. 
it's really it's supposed to be a trail rig it's not supposed to be a rock crawler so much the more I look at it the more I wish they had done this in 10th scale come on team associated all your peers are doing it get in the crawler game I like the wheels the tires feel pretty fucking good for how little they are whoa LEDs in the body I almost pulled the wires out that's gonna make it a bastard to show. Um, the two-sided tape is no longer sticky on one side. The ESC is loose in there. The receiver is almost loose in there. I'm gonna have to address that. Got a weird little lithium-ion battery. I talked to my buddy Mikey. He said one of the other customers that bought one of these put a regular 2S shorty pack in there and didn't have any issues with it. So that's probably what I'm gonna do too. 7.4 volt lithium, look, must be lithium ion, but it says lie low, it looks like. 850 milliamp hours. That fucker's gonna go pretty good with one of my regular 2S packs in there. And the battery mount is forward. Um, 12 scale, scale truck, but it takes a full size servo, that's cool. Uh, plastic shocks, threaded body, fully adjustable. Doesn't look like you could very easily put a 540 side motor in that. I know some of you guys are going to think that way right out of the gate. Sounds like there's going to be a cat fight. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Shit's about to get real out there for somebody. Good luck, BD. Oh, <laughs> uh, look. Steel links. They look similar to the ones in that axial rig I was just bitching about. Just like a real crawler, but smaller. Um. I don't know. I don't really have a hell of a lot to say about it. Frame rails are steel. Man, the cats are, the cats are interrupting my video. I gotta go see who's winning the fight. I'll be back. Fucking bastards. Holy shit, we got a kitty rumble. We have a kitty gang fight. Everyone's got their tail puffed up. I can't tell who's doing it. That's a lot of kitty hostility out there. Oh, Petey's coming in for a cheap shot. Fuck it. Let's see what we can film here. <laughs> they usually don't have violence on the channel, but... Two of these cats live here, one's a stray and one is the neighbors. Riley's got a gob of black fur hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> hey Pete, you don't want none of that immature bullshit, do you? All right, fight's over, you little bastards, or I'm going to kick all your furry asses. There you go. <laughs> well, that was a fun interruption. Let's get back to business. <laughs> okay. Back to the associated CR12 with the LED lights. Uh, like, that's it, guys. No, I can find something else to talk about here. Another fantastic looking ring. Man. Chassis mounted full size servo. Um, I kind of don't like how that steering link is going to be the first thing that hits. The link and the servo horn are going to be the first thing that hits on that approach angle. I guess if you use it on a trail like you're supposed to, it's not going to be that much of a problem. But I do like the looks of those wheels. They're glued on, but I'm not going to bitch about that. <laughs> Both scale don't need bead locks, really. Um, Steel frame rails. The uh, the shock mounts on it kind of remind me a lot of the original SCX10. Hmm. I believe that's a 
plastic battery tray, which it should be. It's got the rock sliders on there. Looks like it'd be pretty easy to switch your body mounts or the posts or you can raise them and lower them at will. Uh, you can tuck them bumpers in pretty substantially if you choose to to improve your approach and uh, the leave angle, whatever they call that when you're coming off from shit and your back bumper hangs up on every goddamn thing. But it is kind of right for the body though, you wouldn't want to tuck that in much. I guess I'm gonna, well, I don't know. I guess that's it for this unboxing. Pretty cool little truck. I don't usually like the little stuff. I can wish and wish and wish for it to be bigger, but you can wish in one hand and shit in the other and see which fills up first. It is what it is. Maybe they'll listen to me and they'll make it bigger. We need a good Ford body like that. And I'm not even a Ford guy. I just want more stuff on our crawler market. Since nobody's smart enough to get the licensing for the Dodge Power Wagons.